Good morning. Mrs. Murder here. And are we ready for another Louise Penny mystery? Another murder mystery? Actually, this book has two mysteries in one. And it's called Bury Your Dead. It's the sixth book in her mystery series. And we start out with a mystery at the very beginning because we can't figure out how Inspector Garma, Armand Gamage wound up being injured, but he is very badly injured and has gone to visit a friend of his, Emile, and, and he and his wife are there for a while, and then she goes back home, and he stays with Henry the dog and spends time with him. They go to the Lytton Historical Museum, and that's where they're doing some research, and find out a dead body was discovered in the cellar of this historical society. And he and Emil put their heads together and decided they need to do something about this. Meanwhile, we have another mystery going on. You may remember if you read the last book that one of our favorite characters from Three Pines is in prison for... Uh, the murder of the hermit, and it was about the hermit in the woods. A fascinating mystery in and of itself. But he, he confessed to it, he's in prison for it, and his partner, Gabri, sends every day a letter to Gamache, Inspector Gamache, and saying, why did he move the body? He didn't do this. And every day he sends the same type of message. And what can Gamache do? He can't go back and be trot, trotting all over Quebec. He's busy with the Historical and Lit Society, which has all the history of, we see in this book, so much history if you want to learn a lot about Quebec, this is a good a good mystery. I realize it's a novel, but there's a lot of historical fact here, backdrop of, of Quebec, and <clears throat> you always learn a lot when you read Louise Perry. So we have two separate murders going on. It's fascinating to to be involved with one, and he's corresponding with his team who are. He has told to go back to the village, or we'll call Three Pines a village, a little town, and, you know, kind of just, we're, we're friends, chat with them casually, go there to relax, and then say, has anything else turned up? Do we know anything else? It seems that we may have missed something, and talk to the villagers. So he has boudoir, and um, he goes back there. Well, I did say that Olivier was the one that was arrested and put in prison, right? Olivier and, and Gabri are the ones that have the home away from home. It's actually a, has rooms for everybody, and it has a dining room. And, <clears throat> and they serve food. They serve three meals a day. They serve food to everybody in Three Pines. And at any rate, the involvement there, you have involvement in two different towns, and it's, it's a trip. <laughs> it's a trip, and you'll enjoy traveling back, back and forth from one story to the other, and <clears throat> see Gamash trying to heal, the villagers trying to heal in Three Pines, and finish working on a mystery that they aren't really sure should have been resolved the way that it was resolved. So that's Bury Your Dead, which we just finished. I just finished reading. And then now the next book, which is the seventh one, A Trick of Light, A Trick of the Light. And I'll be reviewing that one next week. And then is, we'll see how things travel along. But have fun reading, enjoy learning about Quebec, and being involved in another snowy, 
freezing cold descriptive temperatures i didn't realize there's so much ice and snow in canada which is really hilarious considering it's north of minnesota okay have a good day and i have a swamp in my backyard that's all from rain and i know that a lot of people are having problems with heat so i'll say the weather is being good to us here <clears throat> have a good day and talk to you later bye